Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you are new, welcome. My name is Stephanie. Today we're going to be talking about Netflix's Always Be My Maybe. Valeria, and shit yourself to death, you shitty piece of shit! <laughs> A little softer, please. You are scaring the goats. Alright, let's get on with the review. So Always Be My Maybe, it is a Netflix original. It came out on May 29th. It is a rom-com and it's an hour and 42 minutes long. It stars Ellie Wong, Randall Park, Keanu Reeves. It doesn't really star Keanu Reeves, he just comes on it, but you know, I'm not going to say it out on there. Uh, I'm not even going to attempt to say the director's name. Maybe I'll just like put it on here. <laughs> um, production company was Good Universal and then um, Ali Wan and Randall Park actually were part of the screenplay for this movie. So in this movie we follow uh, Sasha and Marcus. So they were next door neighbors and they were also best friends. You end up having a little montage from a preteen up until high school which is actually where they end up having their their fallout. After the fallout there's about 15 uh, years that pass by. Sasha and Marcus are completely different from each other. Marcus stays in San Francisco with his dad. He doesn't want to leave his home. Totally relatable. <laughs> and um, all he does is just uh, work and it's in his band and smoking and drinking. I don't relate in that part <laughs> nor in part of the band either just at home and work marcus tries to make every excuse possible not to leave his home not to leave his hometown he says it that he loves it he's never gonna leave it this is where home is for him sasha on the other hand definitely moved out of san francisco and became a very successful chef and um she just opened up a restaurant and now she's gonna be opening up a second restaurant in San Francisco. So this is gonna make her move back home. And she and Marcus end up uh, bumping into each other. I mean, is it really called bumping into each other because he did come technically to her rented house. But in Sasha's defense, she didn't know that they were the um, heater and air conditioning. Um, I'm trying not to give any spoilers here, so I'm gonna try to see how I can go it around without any I don't want to spoil it for you guys we're gonna just move right past and just go to Keanu Reeves part okay because it's freaking Keanu Reeves all right so Sasha ends up uh dating Keanu Reeves and Keanu actually plays a douchebag version of himself from what I hear and everybody always says that Keanu is actually the nicest person there is so it's just really funny but quite honestly his part that he had in this movie I think he did such a great job i mean it's keanu reeves that whole scene was just great it's one of the funniest parts there is really just almost died with the whole headphones <laughs> i'm sorry i just relived it right now when he takes a bite and then he goes <laughs> thank you <laughs> I almost died. I thought it was Marcus is actually singing about Keanu Reeves in the movie at the in post in credit scene that you don't want to miss it because it's actually really really good. I think this is like the first time that I don't see Netflix popping up like a little image talking about recommend something next to come up. No no they're actually letting you enjoy the song and not trying to like force you to like watch something else. You definitely don't want to miss it. It's actually Randall Park who's singing it. I'm just going to leave it at that because I think if I keep going, I'm going to give you guys spoilers. And so, so far, Netflix is not disappointing me on these rom-com kind of movies. I do got to say that I feel like it's underrated. Like, I, I honestly haven't really heard much about it. The only reason I actually, is I saw it on the Netflix as one of the recommended things. But honestly, what got me to watch it was something that popped up on my Twitter feed about Keanu Reeves walk and I was like what is this and I saw that it was this movie and I'm like okay I need to see what this is about I'm so glad that I stumbled upon that clip because honestly I don't think that I would have watched it otherwise almost missed out on a really great movie so I don't really think that it's being promoted as much oh so I'm gonna go ahead and shut my mouth down because I'm afraid I'm gonna give you guys spoilers and I don't want to spoil this movie for you so with that said don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet go ahead and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new and until next time I'll be seeing you at concessions bye